All right, hi there, boys and girls. We are ready. Oh, man, we are in October, and you believe that? It is that time of the year. Oh, boy. And pretty soon it's going to be Halloween and uh, a lot of things. And then we'll be getting ready for Thanksgiving, and after Thanksgiving comes Easter. But no, no, Christmas comes. That's right, it's Christmas. It's, uh, but we're in October. That's the uh, uh, fall month, all the things that we have to do. I have here some grass. I'm going to talk about a, a story that Jesus told in the Bible, and it's, it has to do with our scripture that we talk about in the church on this Sunday. It's, uh, it's from Luke, uh, again, the 16th chapter, and uh, 17th chapter today, 17th chapter. And Jesus talked about a little bitty seed. And, and he said, that little tiny seed, you put it in the ground, you can hardly see it, and it grows, and what you get is a big bush, almost like a tree. And that little seed, he said, is a mustard seed. Now, when you look at it, you might look and say, I don't know what that seed's ever going to become because I just found this seed. So I'll plant it in the ground. And you see, you plant it, and it grows, and it comes out of the ground, and there's something there, but you still don't know what it's going to be, and it gets bigger and bigger. Sometimes, some seeds you plant, you get a flower like that. That's as tall as it gets. <coughs> I've planted some small seeds, and they're morning glory seeds. And they come up out of the ground, and they started climbing a trellis, and they're eight foot up in the air, climbing, and they're still... They know. It's a little tiny seed starting. Now, how things start out doesn't always look at how they finish. And that's what Jesus was saying is your faith could be like a little tiny mustard seed. But it can it can grow and, and become something that can even move a mountain. I remember seeing uh, a root, a tree root in a stone. And and that root had gone down in between a crack and a stone just to get to some dirt, you know. But as the tree grew, so did the root. And it actually cracked the stone, the big boulder. It cracked it because the root, by growing slowly, pushed and pushed until it pushed that stone apart. Imagine that? Yeah, there's power there. So Jesus said, you can move mountains. And he also said, that mustard seed goes into a bush that, that birds can make their home in it. And they can find food there because the mustard plant provides more mustard seeds and they eat the mustard seeds. Sometimes you buy bird seed. It'll have mustard seed in it because birds like that. So sometimes we don't know what something's going to become. Now I got some grass here. I picked up this grass. It's beautiful green grass. It's got a little bit of clover in it. Uh, uh, there's a couple pieces that are a little wilted and stuff. But, but it's basically nice green grass. Well, what can you do with green grass? Well, I, I could take it and, and I could get some more and bind it together and tie it together. I could build a little grass hut with it, you know. You have to have quite a bit, but people live in houses made from grass, bound together in a grass hut. Now, another thing I could do, I could be a dancer and, and I could get this grass and I could glue it around a, a rope. Uh, I have to have some longer stuff, I suppose. Uh, but I could make a grass skirt. I could do a hula dance like they do in Hawaii. Make a grass skirt out. And they do make grass skirts. They use long grass stems to do that. And you can make a hat out of it. There are hats made out of grass. Can you imagine that? Yeah, over in, in uh, India and in the Far East, they make hats from grass. And they, they keep their heads cool. Oh, there's a lot of things that could do with this grass. And, and when you got all done, it would, wait, another thing you could do is you could get quite a bit of it and, and put it together in, 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 in a bag and you make a sleeping bag, a mat, because people sleep on mats that are made of grass as well. There are all kinds of things that can be done with it. And sometimes it doesn't look anything like what you started, any more than that mustard seed looks like the mustard plant that grows on it. So what is this grass going to become? Because this is the start. What can it become? Could be a grass hut. Maybe a grass skirt. Maybe a grass hat. Maybe we could take it and feed it to horses and it would become food. Yeah, for the horses. It would be energy for them. Well, we could do that. But when you get much, I'd get some manure afterwards. But what else could I do with this? I I know what I could do. 
I could give it to uh, an animal, and that animal would eat it, and uh, a day later, I would have that. A jug of milk. How about that? Yeah. Because the cow eats green grass and makes white milk. Now, I would never have thought that green would become white. But it does in the cow. It becomes a, and I would never say, so I wouldn't want to eat that, but boy, I sure do like to drink this. I put it with my cereal. I, I uh, sometimes uh, eat it with, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of some kind of peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a glass of milk. Oh, that is good. Sometimes I'll, I'll add some chocolate to it. And it turns brown, but there's still milk in there. There's still milk with the cow made. And more than that, on the farm I grew up on, our cows were black and white. There's no black and white. There's white in here, but there's no black. And some cows are brown. Yeah, a brown Swiss is a brown cow. And uh, eats green grass and makes white milk. Reminds us, just like you, I, I could look at you now uh, and I could say, boy, you are a good looking young fellow or you are a pretty young gal. But if I saw you when you were a baby, I wouldn't know that you're who you are today. I would not. And I couldn't tell you, if you showed me a picture of you as a baby, I wouldn't necessarily know which one was which. Because babies don't necessarily look like what they look like when that person gets to be 10. Now, you don't eat grass to grow, but you eat good food, you get sleep, you get exercise. God knew what you were going to be even before you were born. That's what it says in the Bible. That God knows us while we're still in the womb. Before we were even conceived, God knows us. And what we're going to be. Like. And He knows us still today. He knows what you're going to be a year from now. He has a dream for you of what you can be. He's still working on you to make you what He dreams for you to be. Now that doesn't mean it's going to happen because you've got to work with God to become what God wants you to be. But God made cows to remind us that He can take green grass in a brown cow and make one. And it'll be good for you. The grass wouldn't be good for you. The milk would be. And that's a good thing. There's a song that we sing sometimes called, He's Still Working on Me to Make Me What I Ought to Be. Took him just a week to make the moon and the stars. Yeah, they're big stuff. They're out there. They've been out there for millions of years. Still working on me. I've been around for a million years, but he's been thinking about me for a longer time than that, and he's been thinking about me too. Okay? He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. Took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth, and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be because he's still working on me. In the mirror of his word, the reflections that I see make me wonder why Daddy never gave up on me. He loves me as I am and hears me when I pray. Remember, he's the potter, I'm the clay. And you see, like the potter works on the clay, and fashions it, and sometimes refashions it. Well, he's working on us to make us just what he wants us to be. Because he's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth, and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be because he's still working on me. And he is. He's working on you, and he's working on me. He's got a dream, and he's going to make it happen. Okay, let's pray. Father, thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for working on us. Thank you for the nutrition that helps us to grow and be healthy in body. Thank you for your spirit and your love that help us to be healthy in spirit as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next week.